G'day everyone and welcome back to the X-Files The Game. We are day three of the game time. And we've got a cutscene with news. I worked last night. It's time for the news. I didn't. What time is it? Almost noon. We have a burn victim, and the injuries appear to match those sustained by the crew of the Terracon. I have the whole thing on tape. Let me just rewind it. Hey, it's not flashing midnight. Impressive. I like a man who's not afraid of technology. She's cool, this detective chick. I like her. All right, see what happens. Ooh, static. How do you know about the Terracon injuries? I got the original autopsy reports. I have them if you want to see them. Mm. Who's the victim? A John Doe. He was a truck driver for Gordon's Hauling in Charno. Gordo! Gordo's Hauling. I like it. Where did you get the video to? Surveillance cam at the gas station. It's not great video, but it still shows the... Thing. Thing. <laughs> Sorry, what I've played... Thing? Uh, you'll see. I've played this game too many times back in the day. What time did this occur? 6.17 a.m. this morning. Touchdown in the land of the Delta Blues. Ooh, surveillance footage. I like it. That looks like a government... Could be Mulder's rental car. Same make. Looks like a government-issued sedan, in fact. That looks like Mulder. Have you seen him? Mm. No, just photos. Spooky. Touchdown in the land... That guy was at the warehouse last night. Different truck. Same company. Gordon Tolley. Toronto, Washington. So, what do you think? What mm. was that? I have no idea, but his injuries are identical to those from the Terracon, and all of the gas station's electronic equipment stopped working. So what do you think it is? Mmm. EMP. Has to be an EMP. A weapon of some sort? Could be, but what? I mean... I've never heard of anything like this, and that powerful. It's scary. Mm. Ooh, facts. Sounds like you have a fax. The body's over at Truett's right now. I'm going to head on over there and see what she's found out. Oh, I got that Cyrillic document translated. Get this. It was a payroll log. And guess who was on it? Wong. He was paid almost $30,000 in the last two months, so I am convinced that the murder was mob-related. Probably because you questioned him. So I guess you did get him killed. I've turned the case <laughs> over to the task force. Thanks, Astadorian. You're so nice. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Payroll. Ooh. Payroll logs. <whistles> Jimmy Wong, 2200. Nice, son. That's good money. Wongy, that's good. That's good. Hmm. Hmm. Storm continued. Eleventh day out. Storm has slowed our progress compared to earlier voyages. But all is well. Radio to the company. To expect arrival at U three hundred hours the morrow. Now darkness descends over calm seas, and mostly clear as night skies. With the cloud pursuing us, we will beat them to landfall. Latitude 45 north, longitude 123 east, 120 kilometers from port, the smooth, smooth sounds of Bish FM. Alright folks, let's see... What else we've got? Deal. Mm. Do do. Mm. We have all the facts in the special agent Craig Wilmore from the FBI crime lab, John Amos. 
The above noted evidence has been examined by our laboratory, and the following conclusions have been drawn. This is an industrial grade lead container of undetermined manufacture, apparently used for the transportation of hazardous nuclear materials. There is residue levels of radiation remaining in the interior storage portion of the container. This radiation has been determined to be hazardous to humans under prolonged exposure. So they were transporting nuclear shit. The size and weight of the container, weight 30 pounds, circumference 27.5 inches, diameter 8.75 inches, internal compartment depth 3, 6.3 inches, diameter 0.7 inches. Note this item will be held for 48 hours at the crime lab to ensure that we all get radiation poisoning. <laughs> Let's use our phone and let's give John a call. Cause we're sorry, you're called. Can't calm your farm. Urgh. Hope he's okay and not suffering radiation poisoning, cause that would be not good. <laughs> You have reached CECOM voicemail services. Voicemail for mm. John Amos is unavailable at this mm. time. Please try again later. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well... It's still a bit worth so, talking. So, what's the connection with Gordon's hauling? You mean, why was a Gordon's hauling truck both here and at the warehouse? Yeah. Mm. They were involved in the smuggling. Where's the truck? Totally empty. I've got an evidence crew going over right now. Cool. Where does Terracon fit into all this? Obviously, they were part of the smuggling. Either they fried themselves mishandling plutonium, or someone had them killed. What did the man from Charno want with Mulder, assuming that was Mulder? I don't know, but whatever it was, it didn't look friendly. Who mm. was he? Don't have an ID on him yet. He was very badly burned. What about uh, Gordon's Holland? Can somebody over there ID him? Nobody answers the phone. And apparently there's no one on the premises. I sent a Duval County Sheriff over there. No luck. Mm. We need to focus on Mulder and Scully. Where are they? All this, this voodoo with flashing lights and burnt corpses is not the case we're here to solve. I don't agree. If we can understand what this is about, then we can find your missing agents. Hmm. She's kind of cool. Kind of cute. Let's give her the facts. Well, that settles it. They're smuggling plutonium. God, we have to stop this. They could kill a lot of people. Okay, cowboy, let's go. We're burning daylight. Where are we going? To the coroner's office to get the autopsy reports on the burn victim. No! Can I shower first? I don't know, can you? I may need some help. Then I guess you better call that partner of yours. I hear Cook scrubs a mean back. Hmm. Oakley Dungley. Let's, uh, leg it to the garden and pass by her. God, I hate coming here. You say that a lot. As near as I can tell, this man wasn't burned to death in any ordinary sense. He has all the appearances mm. of suffering from Hiroshima-like radiation exposure. Ooh, Hiroshima. That's kind of not good. Talk to the coroner. Let's have a chat to old coroner. What Pruitt. makes you think it's radiation? Well, first off, I don't know much about it, but he was burned from head to toe. Literally. Fire damage never does that. 
Secondly, I cut his clothes off him. They were pretty much undamaged. You see this? That's the imprint of the logo from his shirt. That's caused by thermic rays. Similar effects were observed at Hiroshima. Kimono patterns were burned into the skin of the wearer. Inverse shadows of objects were permanently etched into walls. Mm, that's not cool. Are there any similarities between this and the Terracon victims? The effects are almost identical. We didn't figure it out with the Terracon because, well, it really didn't occur to us. I mean, this is highly unusual stuff, you know. Sometimes we don't see the extraordinary even when it's right in front of us because we just weren't expecting it. Any leads on the Terracon? Any leads buddy? on the missing Terracon crew? No. Whoever did it was good. They got in here, got the bodies without leaving a trace of any kind. That is unfortunate. Would mishandling radioactive materials cause these injury? Could mishandling radioactive materials cause burns like this? Again, I don't think so, but I don't know much about it. Mishandling radioactive materials might account for Mr. Wong's tumors, but a burn like this would have to be a blast of some sort. Mm. That is not good. Uh. All right, nothing else to say to her. Let's have a look at the uh, aforementioned dead human. Let's have a look around. There's bits and pieces over yonder. We can't talk to Mary, so let's just... Hmm, let's just check out the coroner's office a little bit here. Liking it, liking it. Right, I think it's time we go to... Gordo's Hauling out in Chahano. Because it's as good a place as any to go. Hmm. Gordon's Hauling. Well, they're obviously not very security minded. I know, with all this nice stuff around, too. That's the same truck from the warehouse. We're obviously in the right place. Alright, Mary wants us to go first. Well. This looks decidedly dangerous, so we're going to do a quick save, Gordo's Holland. Yes, we went over it. Bad boy. Do a little returnage. All right. So. Let's see what happens. Mm. All right, let's kick the door in. Mm, it's by inside spooky Gordon's Holling. Don't draw your weapon, son, because that wouldn't do you any good. Not like that's proper procedure, because, you know... Hmm. Ooh, a shovel. Some pliers. Mmm. Give me some plans. Ooh. Reefer. Hmm. Uh, ooh, a logbook of some description. Whoa! Okay. Are you alright? It's okay. I found what we're looking for. What is it? Look at this. 
It's a manifest. Details a number of shipments between that uh, dockside warehouse and uh, rural Route 1121 in Fanta County, Washington. I guess I know where we're headed. This wasn't a wasted trip after all. Great. Let's get out of here. Yeah. We're locked in. Oh my god. There's a bomb in here. We have to get out of here now. Oh, blimey. A bomb. This window's wired to the bomb. Oh, uh, shoot. Arr! Um, shoot, how do we get out of here? Bust through that. Alright, nice. Run! Damn! <laughs> Shoot. That's close. Ooh, creepy eyes. I like it. Oh, it's times like this I wish I still smoked. Are you alright? Oh, yeah, I find She's things like cool. this quite bracing. So I guess you're going to want me to drive. <laughs> that would be a nice gesture. I never survived the bomb before. Yeah, well, it happens to me all the time. Hmm. Uh, snug um, it! We Ooh. probably shouldn't do that. I mean, I would love for you to. Don't get me wrong. But we should probably wait until this case is wrapped before we go tampering with the evidence. Ooh. Evidence tampering, I like it. Who was, Who was that, that man? Was Stan Cash. Yeah, I kind of got that impression. You think he works out? There was something weird about his eyes. Did you see that? No, I was too busy being knocked across the room to catch that little detail. He seemed... There was something wrong with him. Almost like he was being controlled by something. So, who owns the hauling yard? Duh, Russian mobsters. Actually... I guess we know why the gate was left open. I mean, it wasn't just small town coziness. <laughs> no. The gate was left open so something would get in there and set that bomb off. Yeah, but was it meant for us or that guy? Was the bomb meant as a trap or was it protecting something in the office? Like what? Information in that log book. The rural route address, for instance. Well, anything in there would be pretty hard to read now, that's for sure. I think the bomb was meant to trap and kill somebody. Are you ready to go? I sure am. You're driving, remember? Right. All right. Late night. Let's go home. Let's get our apartment life on. Dun dun dun. Alright, let's go desk itch. Hm. Oi, erg. Well, let's use the computer. Do 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 don't want to do that. Uh we need one. Let's see if we can find anything.
Russian Gang Activity on the Rise by Don Claxton, Sun Feature Writer. Seattle Police today released crime statistics on the first quarter of 1995, reflecting a 40% increase in the reported crimes attributed to Russian immigrants. It's like Putin's been doing some bad shit back even in the 90s. Well, let's see. Whoops, that's not going to work because. Oh yes, it deleted the Q. Excellent. Destabilization fears. Growing among Russian watchers by Dr. Hans Brauer. Or Bruna, even. Monsoon science report. The breakup of the former Soviet Union initially halted. Oh, sorry, initially hailed by Western observers as a stunning triumph of capitalism and democracy over communism. This is today causing fears of a backlash within the huge country. Hmm. That doesn't sound good. Alarms grow. Alarm grows over Russian nuclear smuggling by Chris Stammer, Outlook geopolitical writer. Very interesting, very, very interesting. If you want to read it, please feel free to pause the video. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I appear to have spelt smuggling with three G's, and that is a minor issue. Mm, same, same stuff. Well, it's the X-Files. Should Google UFOs? Seattle News, UFO sightings increased. Hmm. Here we go. I'll let you all read that. Cool. Ha <laughs> ha. Ha <laughs> ha, Alan's AFB. <laughs> a mate with a nickname AFB. Very funny stuff. Let's just Google our old mate Wong. <laughs> Not Hong. Even. Let's try. Whoa, let's try not typing Wong. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Here. I said Wong, not Hong, for deep sake. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Hmm. Okay, not entirely sure what that has to do with our little adventure. All right, let's hit the hay. That's either it's Ike, but I'm not a hundred percent sure. Where's the journal on the old nightstand? Hmm. April Fool's Day? Mm. So if you want to check this diary out, please feel free to uh, pause this. So here's the part where we started our case. Very interesting. Here's where the uh, yeah, very interesting. All right, let's hit the hay. See what happens in the morning. And the phone is up and Adam. Oh, it's out. Wake up alarm. Very good. April 5, 1996. We are out of here to the FBI field office. Very good. See what Shifty Cook and our boss have to say for themselves today. 
just check out the Ooh, it's Shifty Cook. Hey buddy. Good news. What's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. I cracked your case for you. What are you talking about? Evgeny Smolnikov, known head of a ring of Georgian smugglers. And I have a witness who placed him at the dock the night of Wong's murder. I ordered surveillance on his little love nest, and since this morning, we've accumulated enough evidence to warrant a raid. We leave ASAP. The SWATs are joining us at the site. No need to thank me. Hmm. What about Astadorian? You should call and tell her what you're doing. Done. Already left her a message. I'm the Martha Stewart of crime prevention. Hmm. Well, if she gets her took us down here before we leave, she's welcome to play too. Oh, there you go, Martha Stewart. <laughs> well, she didn't end up in Why jail, did she, Cook? This? I was going to tell you, but the evidence just opened up this morning, and now we're going in. And besides, you were pretty much out of pocket yesterday. Oh, yes. <clears throat> Sorry, folks, just a minor cough there. <laughs> This is my investigation. Oh, contraire. This is our investigation. Shoot him! Shoot him now! Yeah, I'm just trying to catch the bad guys. You do remember that little thing we do, catching the bad guys? He is the bad guy! I'm not gonna let he you He smells this. like a bad guy anyway. Come on, man, what are you busting my chops for? That isn't like you. Cause I'm just trying to do my job. Now what are you getting all proprietary it. about? Clearly that guy is undoubtedly smuggling plutonium into the Pacific Northwest. It's my guess he's a key to your missing FBI agents. So I'm not totally sure about that. Let's go. My friend. Do you have a warrant? You have a warrant? What do I look like? Mark Furman? Yes. Yeah, good I have old a federal warrant from a federal judge. Good old mate Mark Fur Furman. Yeah, he didn't cock up, did Who's he? Who's the witness? Did? What witness? Identified mm -hmm. small cop? Oh, yeah. Mr. Fred Black. Fuller, fifty six, indigent. <laughs> Was sleeping under Mr. Black yards away from the murder. Mr. Black. I like the question. This doesn't have Camp yeah. Krusty written yeah, on it, does it, folks? It's all yours. Now let's go. Why do you want to go to Camp Krusty? Alright. We're going to do something very silly. So we're gonna save before we go a raiding. All right. Please, your. P All right. Let's. Eh, this is not going to end well. I'm sorry. I can't click on Shmolenikov's warehouse. I should have rang Astadorian. It was a bit of a mistake. I don't trust Cook, especially now he's got an AR-15 in his hand. Cool gun though. Where's the backup? I called Seattle PD SWAT boys. They're on the way. But we should wait. I say we get this over with. Surveillance reported that Smolnikov entered the building. Oh, so <laughs> tempting. You were saying? After you. Uh. Uh. Okay. That was not. What we were trying to do. Uh, getting shot was not. I have other things to do. Alright. Let's get our piece. Oh, mate, Cook's got his AR 15. Good to go. Where's the backup? I called Seattle PD SWAT boys. They're on the way. But we should wait. I say we get this over with. Surveillance reported that Smolnikov entered the building alone. You were saying? After you. <laughs> Cover me. You got it. Oh, shooting Tex. Anyone else want to get shot?
Alright, let's check this place out. That's got to hurt. Oh, shooting text through the door. All right. Don't move. Cook, get down here. I've got him. I'm following you. Where were you? Securing the first floor. Okay, Mr. Smolnikov. What gives? Why are you here? I've done nothing. You have no right to come in here like this. This isn't Russia. Shut up. You're under arrest. I'll Miranda him. You secure the place. I spotted a 38 downstairs, back left corner. Alright. All right, let's do a bit more checking. Ooh, this looks like another one of those payroll manifests. Nice. Don't know how I take the damn thing. Ugh. <sighs> Mmm, Black Eagle Emblem. Nice. Mm, there's that 38. Mm, Saturday Night Special.
Alright, let's head back to... Uh, let's head back to old Shifty Cook. Alright. Where's the plutonium you were smelling? All right. What? I handle all sorts of things, but never that. You are talking crazy. I don't think you... I don't think I am, to be honest. Why did you kill Wong? Because he talked to us? What are you trying to hide? I didn't kill Wong. I knew him. He maybe did some work for me. But I didn't kill him. Alright, let's Why talk about the old Terracon? mate, the Terracon. I didn't kill nobody. They were my men. Why would I kill them? Because you're a there shifty a Russian. Fire. Right. A fire you set afterwards to hide what you've done. Yes. I may be a smuggler, so are lots of people, but I didn't kill anybody. I don't believe that, Mr. Russian. We have payroll logs from the Terracon that show that Wong worked for you. We found documents that match downstairs. So? That proves nothing. No, oh, please print it to me. What did you keep in that warehouse? What do you mean? You're in my warehouse. You're right. It's a 38. Yeah. And I bet you it's the same gun that killed Wong and shot Scully. You better get a ballistics test run. It isn't my gun. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. All right. Well... Right. Let's go to the crime lab and get ballistics done, I suppose. Hey, Sleeping Beauty. Well, <laughs> how's it going? Good. How are you? You don't look so good. I don't feel so hot. Hey, radiation poisoning will do that to you. I don't know. I think I'm coming down with the flu or something. What's up? Uh, well... Ooh, gun. I suppose you want me to fire that. You guessed it. Great. My headache just went away. I'm sorry. You really don't feel good, do you? Nope. Let's go. Sure enough, they all three match. Great. Thanks, man. I hope you're feeling better. Mm. All right. You have mail. Ooh. Cool. All right, let's deal with that later. Because right now we're going back to the warehouse to confirm a ballistics a shizzle. Where are the FBI agents? What are you talking about? We found the woman's blood in your warehouse. What warehouse? You're in my warehouse. Your gun shot her. We have a forensics match. I kill no FBI agents. All right. Let's get them downtown and process them. Come on. We'll interrogate them some more once we get this sorted out. Get the local police to secure the warehouse. Let's go. It's Amos. That boat you sent me onto was radioactive. What? That boat, the Terracon, had dangerously high levels of radioactivity. He sent me into a hot area. That's what's wrong with me. I don't have the flu. I have radiation sickness. Oh man, John, I am so sorry. I don't know what to say. Just be more careful before you get somebody killed. Mmm. Shoot. Oh, mate's got radiation poisoning. That's pretty... Pretty bad. 
Alright, let's go have a look at this fingerprint file we got. Atto! He loves to get palato. Yeah, we're going time wise here in this episode, but. Hold on. What the hell were you thinking? About what? About your little raid on the smugglers. I had turned that case over to the task force, and you two cowboys go running off shooting up a place without so much as a phone call? Do you have any idea how stupid I look? Calm your firm. Cook called you. He did not. He did. He said he asked for SWAT backup, though they never did show up and we could have used the support. Do you need to get that? No, the machine will pick up. I guess I just had you all wrong. Agent Wilmore, we must meet right away. Your actions are endangering the lives of Mulder and Scully. They are alive, but they won't be for much longer unless you act quickly. This has nothing to do with Russian smugglers. Sandpoint, Hangar 4, Dawn. Come alone, or I won't show up. I don't know what kind of ridiculous Twilight Zone BS that you're involved with. And you know what? I don't care. I only came over here to tell you one thing. Smolnikov was just released for lack of evidence. <sighs> Damn it, Craig, you're not gonna get any, uh... Uh, let's go to our email and check this uh, let's check this fingerprint out Ooh, restricted alright now there was an answering machine message okay the support check is late again that's three months in a row look you promised you'd get it together I'm sick of this just do it okay uh, uh, it's the old ladies, not it. Agent Wilmore, we must meet right away. Your actions are endangering the lives of Mulder and Scully. They are okay, alive, we play that. But they won't be for much longer unless you act quickly. This has nothing to do with Russian smugglers. Sandpoint, Hangar 4, Dawn. Come alone, or I won't show up. Okay. All right, let's. It's time to probably turn in. You want to read the field notes, slow it down. Alright. Well, seeing we have to meet at dawn, we're probably going to go to sleep, and we're probably going to call this an episode. So I want to thank you all for joining us. If you enjoyed this episode of The X-Files, please remember to hit the like button, thumbs up, all that good stuff. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe for more videos and comments. Please feel free to leave comments. I love your stuff. If you want to see more of this Throwback Thursday series, and if we get to the end of this episode this series soon, in the next couple of weeks, um, suggestions on what we should do next. I have a few ideas. Maybe Command and Conquer Red Alert. A few other things from back in the day. Maybe really reach back and... Get some old C64 emulators going. I've got a bit of an idea of something I might do next month to coincide with some international event that's happening next month. Might be a bit of fun. 
Not sure how it's going to go re recording, but could be really awesome. Um, yeah, so anyway, until next time, laters, folks. Love you so much.